To install Windows on your Mac computer, there's obviously several ways to do this, but what we're going to be doing in this demo is to install just a temporary trial version of Windows 7 in VirtualBox on your Mac computer. And so here I am on my Mac, and this is running Mavericks, so this is the latest upgrade at this time. And what I'm going to do is start by downloading VirtualBox, and you can find it through Google. Just type in VirtualBox and you'll find the download page. And then you'll come down to the link here for the OS X host, and just notice that this link here is just one link. Just click on it, and you'll download the program. I've already done that to save a little bit of time. You can see down here in my Chrome browser down at the bottom that it's already downloaded. But there's one other thing that I need to do, and that is to get the checksums and verify that my download is all there and that it hasn't been tampered with or isn't contaminated with a virus. So I'm going to click here on the SHA-256 checksums and what I'm going to do is just grab all of this just copy it all. So control C to copy all of that. I could if I wanted to scroll down through here and try to find the one line that's for the for the Mac versions but rather than do that I think I'll just copy the whole thing. And after I have downloaded the program and copied all of the file hashes, then I'll come to where I downloaded the file, which is here. And I'm going to notice I'm right clicking on the the DMG file. Right click. And if you have hash tabs installed on your Mac computer, let me just move this up so you can see it a bit better. I'm going to right click, come down to services, and with hash tabs under services you should have an option here for file hashes. Open the file hashes and since I've copied that entire sheet of all of those hashes into memory then hashtab will automatically just run the hashes and check against all of the ones that are in memory. It gives me the green check mark, tells me that the file that I downloaded is fine. So I'm going to close this, come back and I'll begin the VirtualBox installation by just double clicking then I need to double click here on the VirtualBox package file click continue and continue click continue and install after the program is in installed then I should just be able to run VirtualBox by opening up Alfred and typing in for the VirtualBox and now that I have VirtualBox installed I can just close it and move on with my installation of Windows the website is www.modern.ie forward slash en hyphen us forward slash virtualization tools. So it's virtualization hyphen tools. And the link that I've come to here already comes down to the download area. So you come to download a virtual machine for Mac, Linux, or Windows. And the first thing you have to do here on the left side of the screen is you have to select the operating system of the host and so this is going to be a Mac and then over here I'm going to select what I want for my Mac. I'm going to be running VirtualBox. Now I could be running Parallels. Parallels though is a premium piece of software you have to pay for it. I do have that on this computer and it works fine. You, if you have Parallels you can download the Parallels version. If you use VMware Fusion you could take this option here. They all work exactly the same but in this case I'm using VirtualBox. And here under Modern.ie first of all just a word of explanation Modern.ie is a website that's devoted to web developers. The idea here is that people who are building websites can come here and install VirtualBox and then they can download for instance they could download IE6 Internet Explorer 6 with a virtual instance of XP running on their machine or they could download XP that that runs IE8 or Vista running IE7 and what I'm going to do though is grab down here let's go with the IE10 for Windows 7. The easiest way on the Mac is not to right click and download. That's the method we use on a Windows machine. Windows we would right click and then download each file. But here on the Mac we have a link that says grab them all with curl. And if you have curl installed on your computer then 
this is so easy to do if you don't have curl then you can come to this link right here and download and install it but the easiest thing to do here is just to copy this entire line right there copy all of that these two lines so highlight it control C copy and so after I have copied the the link here to download all of these files at once then I simply open my terminal and then I will paste in that line that I copied and I'm going to hit return and what we'll see here is a download process begin and we just need to let this run and I'm just gonna pause the video and come back when it's when it's all downloaded when all of the files are downloaded you need to verify that you have all four and notice here that in terminal for me when I enter the curl command that I copied then I downloaded then 104, 204, and so on down through 404. So make sure that you have all four of the files and you can see them here. One, two, three, four files. Now you really should verify the hash to make sure that the file that you downloaded is exactly the file that the server wants you to download and that you didn't get a corrupt file or maybe a partial file. And you, to do that you can just click here on MD5. So click on the MD5 tag and then just copy the MD5 hash, Control C copy. You can come into your downloads. You'll find the files that you downloaded by clicking on your home directory here in Finder on your Mac. So here's that first file. I'm going to right click, go to services, and I'll whoops have to slide this up again. So right click, services, and file hashes, and it's calculating. I have that saved hash in memory. Looks good. Again, since I copied that MD5 hash into the computer's memory, then whenever HashTab runs the hash, it runs all of these hashes, and to save a little bit of time, you could turn off some of these hashes and have it just select the hashes that you, that you really need to check. But it compares the hashes that it creates with the hash that's in memory and tells me that it's a good file. And you really need to do that with all four of the files that you download. So we come back, we'll click on the second MD5 hash, we'll copy it, come back in, take our second file, services, file hashes, and let this run and verify. And again, this checks out good. And so repeat that process for all of these files, all four of the files, to make sure that they are all valid downloads. Now that we've downloaded our four files, we need to get this installed on our computer. So you can just scroll down a bit on the page here where you did your downloads and you'll find a file here, a link that says download detailed requirements and instructions. So we'll just click that. It's going to open a PDF file and we can scroll down through here. It tells us just what to do for downloading and come all the way down to page three here and we find here the instructions that we need here in the middle of page three about how to extract this now for our Mac computers. And it tells us right in here to locate and verify that you have all of the files that you need. And then it tells us to verify that we have one file that is a .sfx file. And we can do this here. We can open our terminal again. And here's where we downloaded our file. So we just come down to where we have the command prompt and we can just type ls to show us the list of files. And here we'll see this is our own home root directory and we can see our four files. They're located right in here and there is the sfx file with three RAR files. So the first thing we have to do is give that sfx file execute permission by typing the chmod space plus x with that file name. So what you can do is just come into terminal. You can just copy this. The easiest thing to do is just copy that file name. Make sure you select it all. Control C. Then come to the command line and type what the line says there which is chmod and then plus x space and then paste in that file name. Make sure you get all of it. Make sure it starts with IE10.0.0. 
win 7 it goes all the way through the X at the end and then hit enter if you come back with this kind of return where that you have no error messages and you're right back to your command prompt and you know that it worked well the next thing we need to do is to execute that SFX file from the terminal and the way we do that is with the period forward slash so type a dot forward slash and then paste in with no space in there so it's period forward slash and then that file name that ends with SFX and hit enter and it begins to extract that file and you can see the progress over here to the lower right of the window 6% and I'll come back when that's finished When the files have finished extracting, you'll see that you have now gone through the process of extracting all four files and you're back to your regular prompt. Now the next thing we need to do after we have everything extracted and ready to go, we need to take one more look here at the instructions. And notice here that for Windows 7, the instructions recommend that when we create a virtual machine that we assign two gigabytes of RAM to this virtual machine. So just remember 2048. Now the way we're going to install this thing, we'll just open up Finder here again, bring it in. And so here is the SFX file followed by the three RAR files that we downloaded. And then we can see here that when we've gone through this process of installing this, that we now have a fifth file here, the one that ends with .ova. So all you have to do is just right click on this file and then click open and it starts VirtualBox and it comes down here and gives us the basic information here about this virtual machine that we're going to install so just click import and again we'll have to wait for it to download and install itself here in VirtualBox the time that it initially calculated looks like it took me about 15 minutes so I'm going to come back here to this instance of Windows that's installed we can see it here in virtual machine first thing I'm going to do is come to settings click on it and I want to increase the amount of RAM that is allocated for this virtual machine I'm just going to come and take away the 512 and type in 2048 give this thing plenty of RAM my Mac does not have a floppy drive so I'm just gonna uncheck floppy and move that thing down out of the way that'll make it run a little bit better we'll click OK now to run the virtual machine we'll just select it and then click start you'll see it come up on your screen you may get several little banner warnings up here you can just click those X's read what it says and if it tells you anything that you need to worry about then take care of it otherwise just kill them with the X and here you see now I have Windows running in VirtualBox this is a 90 day trial version so it should last you through the term and will give you all of the files that you need as far as it's a complete operating system so everything that you need is here here's your control panel with all of your settings it's all right here and you can download and install software you can change the settings and all there's one last thing I need to show you and that is here let's see in the instructions if you come all the way down to the last page you may have instances where you need to log in probably as administrator or something here is the root user so it's IE user and then the password it gives it to you right here so that's at the end of that page so you probably want to download these instructions so you don't have to come back to it again but you may need that username and password otherwise then here you are with your virtual machine and Windows running on your Mac and you're good to go.